Other applications include GarageBand, which will allow professionals and amateurs to create pleasant sounding tunes, unlike with real instruments. Um, it's not really, not so much designed for that, it's really more of a fun device. So one of the demos that was done on stage was with the keyboard, which utilizes the new gyroscope inside the device. Essentially that allows you to uh, tap the key lightly and it will play the sound more quietly and if you tap hard on the keyboard, the sound will be louder, but in this noisy environment right now, we can't well, hear it too well. Okay. Right, so you have the key that you're in, which is yeah. chosen. In this you also have controls for the different instruments, like here you have the um, sustain pedal along with the octave changer, so you can do between different octaves, so you have essentially a full-size grand piano in the size of an iPad. Yeah. So it's very graduated. Uh, there are other instruments that just with the drum set, and, and if you switch between different instruments, you're going to see the different drum or instrument uh, look and feel, so it's very customized towards the instrument that you select. For those who don't have music background, um, I believe it's called Simple Instruments. So having such a very basic and simple way to go so you do have access to simple instruments which will allow you to compile different tracks um, that sound pleasant so even if you don't have background in music um, Apple's tools here will allow you to create pleasant sounding tracks which you can combine um, together to create a song so just tapping it and combining all the different notes and chords together will give you a track and then the various tracks you can buy different instruments inside the tracks to get your own song. And there are up to eight tracks for a song that you can use in GarageBand. Can we see an example of that? Uh, this is one I wish we demoed. So this is the simple guitar. And we're currently recording what we're playing right now on the simple guitar. So the, the sampler is, uh, is a classic uh, technology. So that's the first track, and then you can go ahead and add in drums or piano to get additional tracks. Let's try to sample one more time. You remember, uh, I don't want to date myself or you, but you remember the movie Ferris Bueller? Yeah, absolutely. You, know, you remember the classic, you know, he records it's like yeah. a few <laughs> <laughs> right. So you can do the same thing here. And then you can time when the different tracks start and stop. So you have a compilation together. Now, of course, you could take and you can go and So this is GarageBand, which will be native to the iPad.